It's Friday lunch break on the Chief Joseph Trail Ride. It's been an amazing week, and the only thing wrong with this adventure is that it's going to end way too soon. In just a few hours, it would all be over. Our traveling tribe, which came together to follow the historic trail of the Nez Perce, would scatter to the four winds. It's easy to see why so many people come back year after year. But what's so special about the Appaloosa horse? A closer look at the breed made famous by the Nez Perce just ahead. What drew me to the Appaloosa horse originally was its color because it was different than any other horse. And then I became more educated and realized that there's more to just color than, um, than what appears on the outside, it's what's on the inside. The Appaloosa horse is the only breed permitted on the Chief Joseph Trail Ride. The Nez Perce are credited with developing the breed and its unique color, which even Lewis and Clark noted in their journals when they encountered the tribe back in 1806. History tells us the spotted horses were originally known as a Palouse horse, named after the Palouse River in northern Idaho, a name that eventually evolved into Appaloosa. Today, the distinctive breed has a loyal following, one that believes the animal's heart is as important as its color. There's a saying, you can get in the car and go see what man has made, but you have to be on the back of the horse to see what God has made. And this horse is taking me through some amazing trails and mountains, and, uh, and only her heart can take her there, starting. You've got to have that before you can even train a horse. They have to have heart and the, and the desire to want to do this for man and enjoy really what is natural to them. And that's the spirit of the horse, and that's what I look for when I look for my special horses. Trainer and Appaloosa Club show judge Christy Wood owns the two registered appies she's standing with, clear evidence that the breed's bloodline trumps its color. But among riders on the Chief Joe, there's no doubt that the Appaloosa's look is a big part of its appeal. I so. like their stamina, and your horse doesn't look like everybody else's horse because the color patterns are all so different. They're a stout, friendly horse. Uh, not all Appaloosas are that way. You have to find the right one. But when you find a good Appaloosa, it's hard to beat. Since the Appaloosa is so connected with the Nez Perce tribe, some of the riders here believe the Chief Joseph trail ride is as significant for the horse as it is for the humans who ride them. There's just more to the Appaloosa with their history. It's almost as though the horse knows its own history, and Dollar does too. You can kind of sense it when, uh, when we're out there. Two years ago, we were in Yellowstone, and first, Dollar's never seen a bison before. And when she looked at that, you could almost kind of, you know, I could see her mind processing. My forefathers saw those. We carried the Indians into their freedom, into their hunts, and it's almost that she sensed that, and it was a great experience. The following summer, we were back in the saddle with the Chief Joe once again as the trail ride completed another 13-year trek at the Bear Paw Battlefield. We'll take you back on the trail later in the program.